There's something strange and I don't look the right. Do you guys follow? Anyway. Amen. So hey guys, welcome to another episode of Two Fat Guys at the Movies. I am your host, Professor Prime, here with Mr. Mr. J. What happened? I'm over here. Oh, you're over here. Uh, we're also joined with our, our new buddy, Slimer, who is only going to be a special guest in this episode. Ugh. I don't know, maybe I'll throw in special effects or something. Like the Slimer sound. When he when we make a joke, he'll be like, he'll laugh or something. Anyways, so we went and saw Ghostbusters Frozen Empire came out today. Wow, what's today? Technically tomorrow. Comes out tomorrow. Well, you know, early bird, early bird previews. What did you think of it? I liked it. That was good. Did you like it? I liked it. Um, a little bit more action. It was a little, a little more action packed than the last one was. But I also know that the last one was more of a tribute. It was more of a, a what do you call it? A send off for the franchise. And I'm surprised they even actually made a sequel. I didn't think they would make more, considering how long it took for them to make the third one. Well, there was another one. But, uh, I said that one, I, I think they would have been... I mean, a lot of people, there was Ghostbusters the game. I know for a lot of people consider that like the sequel to the second one, but... But yeah, um, so, I, a couple things. Um, the villain was not as in... Wasn't, I didn't feel like the villain was in, as engaging. Like, the main threat, like it was... Well, because it was stuck in a freaking... Brass ball, yo. No, no, it was no, and it, it wasn't really that. I just, it just wasn't. I just, I just didn't feel like he really did anything. I mean, he did. I guess, I guess he did. And I was like, I was, I was, I guess, like the climax of the film. I don't want to say it felt rushed, but it did feel kind of rushed to me. But I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's, it's not a nitpick or anything. I just, I just kind of expected the villain to be more presence in the movie but then again when i think about it it did follow kind of the same formula as the first one like you know with with uh you know you know there's the they're catching ghosts they're doing small things you know there's a little drama going on with the with the, with the what was it what was he the district attorney in yeah, the first so, one something like that yeah. something like that we're trying to shut them down this time he's the actual mayor that was funny as hell you know see now that would have been I, that would have been a cool bucket to get ghost trap Oh yeah, the Ghost Trap, yeah, the AMC one, yeah. But um, yeah, it was a good, it was a good movie. I mean, it was. It I was, was a blast. It, it was again one of those people I like. It, to me, it was, it was like I thought it was a kind of uh, fun thing. I went slightly scarier with like the. Uh, I mean, not that like Vigo when he like turned me you know, into the, the monstrous looking face where he's like scary, but actually almost demonic, if you will. Yeah, they did go a little more scary. They, like, they did have a couple more callbacks, like the librarian. Shh. Ah, you know the, the whole thing. Um, yeah, I did like. I did like. I I did feel like the the info dump section. I, I really wish movies would figure out a better way of doing those, like because it always feels like an info dump when all of a sudden they have to go find another character whose only relevance to the story is giving the characters in the story the info about the villain or whatever, and you know, or for the audience to explain to us like where the ball came from. And, and all, and like, well, in this, in this particular film, in this particular film, what was he called? What was his name again? I, like, his name, phew, on my head. I have the thing pulled up here. I probably just looked here. Um, the villain. What was his name? Mama Frick. Mama Frick. We'll just go with Mama Frick. It didn't have a voice actor, so it is isn't. They're dead. Let's see, looking for, these are, nope, they don't have the plot up yet. Oh, yeah, they do. No, they don't. Anyway, so, 4,000 years ago, there was this god who was taking over, I think it was Asia, right? And there was another, like one of his fall disciples, I guess, got too big for his britches. No, it was it was a king who was like using this guy for a plan. And it yeah, was, like, well, he wasn't a god. He was like a like he worshipped a god. He worshipped a god or whatever. And he got too big for his britches, too ambitious. And they locked him away using was it fire starters, yeah. fire masters, whatever, the fire masters, whatever. And um. They used fire to seal him. I think I believe it was not brass. It was oh my god. They use copper. They, copper. There we go. It was copper, a copper ball, and he was sealed in it, and he was entombed. Garaka. Baraka. Okay. No, Garaka. Garaka. Okay, Garaka. Baraka is a is a wrestler. No, Baraka. No. Oh, it was, a, it was a Mortal Kombat yes. character. And basically, uh, the generation went on, and then the actors who played the Uber Eternals. 
Stuber. Stuber. What was his name? Actually, anyways, he's a great, he's a funny actor. Kam Kamal? Kamal? Kamal something. That, not Johnny. I, yeah, I didn't want to, I don't want to butcher his name. Probably completely butchered that name. I don't want to butcher his name, but he's a, I think he's a good actor. He's come a long way from the first time I saw him in Stuber. And he, um, plays the fire starter in this movie. Basically, he's the one who brings, yeah, he, he's the he brings, brings the orb yeah. to them, basically. He brings the orb to Ray. Yeah, for fifty bucks, and he yeah. finds out that it's actually a lot more going on. Yeah, well, it's funny because well, it's kind of funny because like he, he does the EPA meter on it, and it blows it up, it breaks it basically because it has a ton of kinetic energy, and then he just kind of takes it. They one of the plots is that um, Winston now you know, owns a company and. Uh, they, well, you actually saw that in that flight, was it? Well, yeah. Well, I mean, like, they, they showed more of the company, like, what he was doing. Like, basically took an abandoned, what was it, a, a factory? A quarium. A quarium, and uh, turned it into a giant ghost, into a larger ghost trap. Or containment, I'm oh, sorry, containment field. And they also had, like, um, like, little, like, little, like, uh, rooms, glass rooms where they could study ghosts. And they had, like, you know, the fields had the proton filled around it so they couldn't get out and stuff like that and they could study them and figure out like what makes them like what they look like because you know a ghost or like you think human but a lot of the ghosts are not even like Slimer here for example is a I don't know what you I don't even know what you would call Slimer like what you'd ghoul I guess you know he's a free roaming vapor he's a free roaming vapor okay okay Jeez. but like I mean like he's a ghoul like like in terms of like the look I guess is what I'm thinking of and essentially you have the all the you have the, the, you have the, the everybody's back. The only one who did not make a return, and I don't know if you count this as a return as a not returning, but Sigourney Weaver didn't was it in this film? She was just in the post credit scene that we missed in Afterlife. I don't blame anybody for that. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I think the main reason why she wasn't in the movies, they probably just did nothing for her to do. You know, like why, like just like, and it could be scheduling conflict too. Like, oh, and then so there is a mid credit scene. And the only thing that I got from it was like that maybe they're setting up the next one to be the state park. They're bringing back the state puff, state, state puff. puff marshmallow man. These the little state puffs took over this guy's truck, which happened to be owned by State Puff, and drove off. And I and we both had and after after it went off and the credits were going, we actually had the same. Like we both were like we both were like, well, wouldn't that be cool if it was actually Rick Moranis, like just doing something like either just like oh pulling up a newspaper. And seeing that, oh, the Ghostbusters still in business, and kind of showing what he is, or, or I even joked about him walking into like um, the corporate office and going, "Who does your taxes?" Or you know, he, they could easily play it back to when, uh, like you know, we oh hey, the Ghostbusters back in business. I wonder who does the taxes. You know, well, yeah, something like that. And I, I know well, he, he wouldn't even have gone on location. They could have went to him and just yeah, did it like in his home or something. Yeah. You know, like something like that. You know, um, I do know that. I think after Afterlife was released, he did do an interview. He did do an interview, and they asked him why he didn't return for Afterlife. And I think he stated that he doesn't want to, like, or and they asked him about any of his other iconic roles, like, would you ever come back to do, like, the idea of Spaceballs 2? Would you come back to do that? Or some of his other uh, roles that he did. Like, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Like, they did a TV show, I think, on Disney+. Plus. No. no. Or they were going to. They were no, going to. They, 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 they did a... A, a, a show, but it wasn't on. I don't even know if it was on Disney. It was on Disney. I'm pretty sure it was. Okay. Anyways, but they're gonna do a. Sh uh, uh, there was gonna be another movie or a show, and he said, and "Don't quote me here, but I think it was something around the lines that he would not come back to reprise any of his old previous roles that he did, and the reason for that is that he felt like a lot of it would just be more for nostalgic bait than actually telling. Like if it's like." If, if it's like if they came to him with like a good story, like that's like a progression of that character, then he'd be more than willing to look at it. I think they did off. I think they did get in contact with him about Afterlife, but it was like kind of like how Snorri Weaver. It was like a very small just cameo role, just kind of. And he's like he just wasn't interested in doing that. Just to just for like oh hey here's the character you know, but and I don't know if he has any kind of like copyright or trademark to his character. Where I they can't like even mention no, his character. No, I, I don't. They never I, mention I, his character at all. Any of the, the last two. Thing films. is, if, if, why mention it? Because people are like, "Oh, is he gonna be in the movie?" True, that's very true. No, too. but like I said, you, you, they, he can't copyright his character unless it's like an original. Well, Ghostbusters yeah. would be an original. And that's yeah, the thing, no, like, maybe it was written in the script, and so like you know. No, because it's, it's it's 
owned by basically Columbia Sony. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. So, so I, I wasn't he, sure. He cannot. Now I know like uh, the Bob, the Strange Brew. Yes, that could probably be his character. You know, he owns it or whatever. But right. Um, but yeah, all the same people come back. Um, I almost didn't. I almost didn't recognize the one kid because he's gotten a little. He's gotten a growth spurt when he played podcast. Oh yeah. Like when they were doing the whole like. You know, like uh, intro video, and he's like, and my my uh, my intern has told me to make sure to, what was it like oh, yeah. the video? Yeah. Make sure you do like the video and subscribe. And subscribe. And uh, I was like, who is? Oh, his podcast. Because he wasn't wearing like, he didn't have all the gear on him like he normally did. And then plus he's like, got a mat. It's been like what three years, hasn't it? Well, it's probably since been the last one. Well, it's three years have passed since the last. No, movie, I mean but... since they've done them since filming. Oh, I don't know. So it's probably been like since... Because the movie was supposed to be out last year. Yeah, I remember it was supposed to be out last Christmas, and then they, they pushed it for whatever reason. Uh, maybe it was some pickup shoot uh, or something. No, no, because of the uh, strike. Oh, the strike, you're right. The, that's right, the strike happened. But yeah, I mean, you know, most of like what happened, like especially when it came to the climax, was in the trailer, like with the beach freezing over and the, uh, the firehouse getting frozen up. That was the poster of the movie. But... I mean, like, it was fine. I mean, it's kind of how the other ones went. It was kind of like just the climb after just boom, it was done. Well, there was no epic battle between the Ghostbusters and the villain. It's just kind of like, you know, does this thing, and then they come away to win, and they win, and it's the end. Yeah, it has, well, what's the face of Even the other three movies there weren't. There was always a lead up, yeah. Well, that's one, what I mean. It first was, one, catching ghosts. Here comes Gozer. You know. Press yeah, stop, Gozer. All right, he's free. He's free. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. It's just like in the second one when they had a... Uh... The special or the incident? Yeah, yeah so, I mean, it was it was, it was, it was, pretty much all the same formula. And it works. It works. That's the thing. It works for it, you know? And um, I did feel like the role... The I did feel like the the, the brother... Not so much, but I feel like his role was... was I mean, let's face it. The, the fr This new franchise is around Phoebe. It's, it's around her character. And did you want to talk about that? Did you want to talk about the little twist, I guess you'd call it, in that in, in it? And how they reveal that they can actually pull the spirit of humans out? Oh, yeah. It was just, and, 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 and they, they were, you no, know, basically they had this, you know, Winston had this place where he basically had, like, you know, stuff set up where he had the ghost in the aquarium. But no, they had, it was, it seemed like, so basically they had, like, a possessed doll. They could take the spirit out of the doll, and then you could. Track yeah, it. they they. I, I liked how they revealed that like certain people, when they died, if they were tied to an object, they, they would be like a like a makeshift ghost trap. Like that's why, for example, the Annabelle doll. The reason why it's possessed is because it's it acts as a, as almost like as a ghost trap. Like it's trapped it into that object. Well, no, basically they can leave some of their essence behind, like, but like, with the wash and the wife still would beat. Well, it's an electric. I see what I was thinking. Like it probably just beeps because it's an electric watch. But no, as I said, and I would basically say that's something for energy. If it's like something I really care about, like a, a wedding ring or whatever, and anyway, we're having with them all the time, you know, it could hold some kind of, you know, essence. What would yours, what would your object be? Probably nothing, you're mad. Right? He's like, no, that my proton pack, obviously. Slimer. But no, uh, but not there, like I said, that particular scene, like I said, it looked like they're trying to go for something. I'm not going to sit there and discuss it because. If someone actually watches it, they're probably going to be like, oh, you're whatever. But no, it's, no, it seems like, it's like for a second, I thought it kind of looked like that's what they're going for. But no, you kind of, you know. Yeah, we discussed it, and I don't want to come across as like a, I don't know what you would call it, like a sexist or a homophobic. homophobic or anything like that. Like, like I don't care, and I don't care if, if, they, if you make characters a certain way, like in terms of their sexuality or whatever like that. However, I feel like Ghostbusters is a kid's movie. Like like a preteen kid's movie. You know, it's 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 dumb I'd go fun. I go family, I want to say. Or even like a fa it's a family film, but it's not like a necessarily like a kid's film, but it's a family film. So like that kind of stuff I just don't like seeing in, in family films. Unless I mean like like obviously like, you know, mom and dad, you know, it's like, you know, showing affection or whatever, it's one thing, but like it just there was a scene in the movie where I was sitting there like, please do not do that. Like, I don't care. I don't think anybody cares. And I was like, oh, wish. Because at that point, I already knew the, the character, the ghost spirit that she had met pretty early in the film, playing chess with. And she, you know, 
accidentally led her, she accidentally killed her entire family with a, a with a match or something like that. Burned the house down. She died too, and she's still trapped because of you know unfinished business or whatever. And she uh, basically was being controlled by the the main the villain and and or like wasn't being controlled, but like she wasn't controlled, but it was more like it was a promise. No, but you know she well the promise yes, but that, she bring her the family back, but. Well, Same no, thing. that she would do she remember, over. He, remember she, cause she, she said when Phoebe became the ghost, he controlled her and made her, you know, basically uh, say the uh, little chant. Well, yeah, made her say the chant to release her. <laughs> so he um, could control the ghost, so he had some control over and, her. And I had this feeling that, oh, they're going to do, they're going to, she's going to kiss her. And then she's going to be like, oh, I'm sorry. And then she gets possessed or gets controlled and stuff. But they just kind of, I, I, and we talked, I, I mentioned it like on the car ride back, I mentioned like maybe, maybe it was in the film and through test screenings, it just did not go over well with audiences. So they cut it. Who knows? It doesn't matter. But it was just, that was like one moment where I was like, oh, you know, kind of like, please don't do that, you know? And, um, another funny, here's another thing. And I don't know if you heard me, but I, I blurred it out a little bit. When they, when they were showing the, the aquarium, like section, showing all the different ghosts, and they had the one that was like a room, like looked like a like a eighties kind of yeah, room. Did you room. not? Did you not get the vibe of that dude from Gremlins? Oh, the, the lightning guy that goes ah! I got trapped in the TV and shit like that. Oh, it was in the electrical. No, he got trapped in the phone. System. Or the phone system, yeah. Yeah, I I, I was like, is it a gremlin? That's exactly what I thought. That's exactly what I thought of that. Um, and obviously that 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 was in the movie so that you know he could escape and get the, the the audio recording of the chant to get it back so that or whatever you know um but yeah the girl uh what's her name mm -hmm. not, not oh, the ghost the, not the ghost um she looked familiar the actress looked familiar i don't remember they even said her name melody is it melody so her name was melody which also happened to be the name of, I don't know if just chosen because that's where I, the matchbook comes Emily, from. Emily, Emily Lind. That's who played Melody. I know, just going what on. What else does she play in? Uh, let's see here. Oh, she was in Doctor Sleep. Did you know that uh, 20 in she 20... plays Phoebe was also a young uh, Captain Marvel? In, yeah, she, the one they showed the teenager? No, she was the kid. You know, the one that was out, like, doing the, uh, like, yeah. Go karts? Yeah, I knew, oh, I knew that. A Haunting on Kinetic 2, I don't think I saw that one. Enter the Void, Mockingbird, Lights Out, The Babysitter, The Babysitter, Killer Queen. She doesn't, oh, she's done a lot of TV though. I'm trying to see something that, Rush Hour. There's a, there's a TV show on Rush, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just the episode. No, Hawaii Five-0, Gossip Girls. I mean, nothing that I can really recall ever watching, but um, anyways. She, her face looked familiar to me. Oh, she was snaked by Andy in the, that one. Yeah. The no, the other girl. The girl that was the... Ghost? No, not the ghost. The girl that... The the, the kid had a crush on in the first one. And then found she out that in, she was she older. She was in Madam Web. She, I'm not talking about Madam Web anymore. <laughs> it would go on forever how bad that movie was. Um, no, yeah, but she... Uh, she, uh, she wasn't really in this movie very much. I was kind of surprised. And I, I was actually quite, well, I guess it's not surprising that Old Cast had more of a prominent uh, role in this movie than they did in the last one, you know. Uh, but well, they're in, they were back in New York then. Let's put it this way, basically Bill Murray didn't have a future role, but... He had more of a play in this one than in the last one. He basically should... just showed up at the end with everybody else. Where this one, he was kind of like, you know, they did the whole, the whole hell, the, the whole yeah. uh, hat thing and... And he was do, doing the questions, and then he, and then I like how he walked up to the the power box and he hit it. He's like, oh, it's still there. His drink is still there. No, the only the only problem I had with the movie that would kind of like hiccup that I felt like I felt like they were almost trying to redo the same thing with Egon again when like when Melody faded away, like she became like well, I don't say came up with the force, but you know she, she became part, she of, became like part the, of the cosmos or whatever. Yeah, yeah, cosmos or whatever. You know all that stuff. Um, I was sitting there like, oh, they're trying to, trying to convey the same emotion, and I just didn't feel anything. I, I heard, I didn't feel anything for her character, it was just, it was just there. The only thing I was there was just maybe to, like, move Phoebe's character a bit more further, or, like, to showcase she's more of an outcast than, you know, she thinks. They didn't have as many jokes with her this time, though. They did, like, the photon one. They did the photon one in the beginning, but they didn't really, 
But she also spent more time alone this time. Like, she, like the last movie, she spent a lot of time with, with a podcast. But this one, they didn't. She wasn't really with the cast as much. Like, she was. A, there was a lot of a lot of the movies. She was like kind of doing her own thing. So, which I thought was interesting. But I liked it. The music was fine. I do like the callback to the original two at the end. You know, like they come out and they're like, yeah, everybody's like clapping, and then the mayor is like. He's gonna give us our full support. And he's like, uh, <laughs> yeah. He wasn't as crazy though. You know, in the first one where he's like screaming and stuff. I wanna have these men arrested. But you know, um, who was the guy at the library? He was in the first one, wasn't he? Yes, he was the, well, the, the head of the library. Head of the library. He was, oh yeah, okay. I was like, I know who that is. Who is that? But yeah, I, I liked it. It was, it was, it was a fun movie. Yeah. I, I did not, like I said, they had, there was a couple small hiccups in the film but it followed but other than that it was fine it like does it, it didn't it, it wasn't bad like like i can look past it like i don't care kind of thing but i just want to for those watching that you might be like you know like somebody else might not like that so just throwing it out there that's kind of and then like i said we already talked about the make credit scene right yeah, yeah just, we talked it was it was just the mini puffs stealing the semi yeah and the only thing that i that is oh they're maybe setting up like the state puff marshmallow man will be the sequel which is fine. I'm fine with that too. If they do that, I'm totally fine with that. Because I thought that was actually kind of cool. <laughs> no, it's like I said, I actually liked how it, and let's face it, you know, I'm sure people are, the ones that bitch about the uh, Force Awakens, like, ooh, it's something different. And then they have to watch it and they just do whatever else on the internet does. That's 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 a new hope. And yeah. it was, but it's okay though. No, but like basically that's what you can almost have to say that's what Afterlife was. Like basically. The first one? So, you know, here comes Dozer, let's fight it. Well, um, it, but 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 I but argue with that one would be that it's, it felt more like a continuation of that story than just rehashing the original. That's the only argument. No, that no, I have no, with no, that. no, but no, I get what you're saying, though. No, but I, again, it's, I, I like that it's you know it's still Ghostbusters, you know. It, but you know, with like uh, how you said Ghostbusters two, it you know went with like a different form, the same type of thing, but it was you know still different enough where it's its own movie, not like not a guy we saw this in Ghostbusters one type of a deal. Be right. How many people are watching this? Nobody. I'm not streaming it. Oh, so you guys went to Wikipedia? Uh, no, I was just looking up the, the cast name. It was just the easiest. Yeah, you're yeah. I am VB, bro. Uh, but no, I was also looking because they have, like... I'm kind of surprised this one, like, not that it matters to me, but I'm kind of surprised that it got a not a good rating this time. Yeah, you know, I said people... Some people complain about it being over overcrowded. But the thing about this is it, ha the, it had the same cast as the first one. With the exception is that you added the other guy, the guy who was like, uh, "Does that uh, does that help you hear the ghost? No, it helped me hear them in silence." Oh, wrong. Which got a chuckle out of me. I thought that was hilarious. There's he was a, new, and then you had the you had a cameo of the one guy in the library, and you had a couple cameos. I oh, said, so "I don't." Beyond that, it was the same cast. Minus she didn't have Shinori, but I, I think the crowd in this comes from the fact that the original cast had more of a role in this film. So I, I I think it was more like the story is more based on the Phoebe character and you know her trying to find her place in the you know family. In the know. family, yeah, yeah. Because like because like the obviously the here's the thing the first one obviously was gonna focus more on the new cast so we get to know them. Or this one is like okay we know them we don't need to spend as much time with them and then just kind of pick one character which would be the Phoebe character just you get to know more about her character. But yeah overall I mean I would I don't remember what I gave them Afterlife. I'm gonna give it like, I mean, I'll give it like a four, like a three and a half, four. You know, not bad. Um, if you're not if you're not a person who, I would say, I would say go to the theater and see it. Maybe matinee price, you know, or if you have movie club, which you can get for uh, what is it, ten bucks a month. Oh, sponsor us. Oh, she, she did, you know, she oh it's hilarious. So I got uh. I, I, I got a uh, automatic uh, hoop scooper thing, which she uses. I was afraid she wouldn't use it. But every time it goes to clean, she runs in there and goes, Yeah, that's yeah, harder too. She's hissing at it and tries to smack it. I'm like, just let it clean. Let it do its thing. It's hilarious. Like, it's it has, it's been like a week now, and she well, still does only, it. It's going to be only available on Patreon. Yeah, only available on Patreon. But, uh... Um, yeah, the last one, that's why I'm not using the, the microphone on my phone, because for some reason the audio was all jacked up. I mean, it wasn't jacked up, but like when I tried to edit the video, it just for some reason it kept cutting out while we're talking. 
I just left the silence. So it was really jarring. So I made that one Patreon and slash I saw, YouTube. And uh, also, was it last week we saw Imaginary? It's all right. You know, your typical PG-13 horror movie. Oh yeah, it was, it, then, was, uh, it was, it was, it was typical. I don't, I'll flat out say I'll have to agree with someone I watched, someone, someone their, their review on it, a brief review. Uh, it was a little slow, but at, in the end, it was actually, the ending made it watchable. I still felt like it should have just ended when she was sitting in the bed and everyone was like, looked like it was a happy ending. But then it obviously turned out that she was still in the world. I, I think it would have been better if the movie just ended there. Oh, uh, spoiler. Hello. Yeah, spoiler. I don't know see it. But other than that, I mean, like, that movie was, I'd give that movie. And we're just, we're shoehorning that one in here because we didn't record a video for it. And then I, I didn't think I didn't feel good last week. You so we didn't record. We needed to take a good poop in the Yeah, something see. like that. So I'd give that one a two. I'll give it a three. It was a two. Three. Two, two and a half. It was a half. It was, here's the thing. It was better than Adam Webb. Oh, hell yeah. It was, yeah, like, 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 if you gave me an option, you can watch one movie. Either Madam Web or Imaginary. I'm watching Imaginary. Because at least I can, like, even like I have my phone, I can, like, I can multitask. I can still watch it. Madam Web, like, I can't. I can't. It was, it was, I, I try, I think, I think I tried to defend it, too, in the review a little bit. Try to, just, like, eh, kind of justify some stuff. No, no. Can't. Can't do it. Can't do it. So... Uh, you got anything else that you want to maybe talk about the movie or anything yeah. you'd like to see them going forward? If they, I mean, I think they did talk about a mul well, multiple feature, multiple films, but I mean, yeah, they went, when when here the last thing I think of is when Winston was talking at the end, talking about how you know there's supposed to be out there. We're gonna you know get like I don't know because supposedly the, the one plan of them to do franchise movies where they're gonna you know have like the main cast be like, okay. Yeah, here we are. We're gonna start having oh, you know, multiverse or not? Well, not like multiverse. Like cinematic they, universe. Well, no. You basically all it would be would be Ghostbusters, but they'd be a, a like, let's say for instance, like, uh, hey, we're gonna do like a LA branch, right? Oh, right. And, and then so have, like, a different group of people. You could have like you know Ray. All right, well, you know, here's your equipment, or because right. I had heard that's what they originally wanted to do. But after after two, they wanted they to did do. get they did get two they did get new proton packs in this one. Like upgraded proton packs, and they actually used the uh, Haslab one in they there. They did use it. It was confirmed that they didn't. I think how you said Hasbro actually sent them to them. I don't. Well, yeah, I'm sure that's how he got them. Let's face it. They're not gonna. They're not gonna dish. So they're gonna dish with money to buy them for Hasbro. <laughs> you gotta fund them though. But All no, right, let's fund them. But here's the thing: they've actually had like actually like, like, how like, the Unicron and stuff got sold. They actually have. They would have somewhere they would go to when they go to shows as giveaways and stuff. Yeah. You, you mean to make. Now here's a question, since they did reveal a new Proton Pack, and then I, I'm assuming... I don't think they'll do it. Well, no, I'm, I'm not, maybe not right now, but I'm, I'm assuming the old ones are gone now? Because they got taken, and they said they're going to be melting oh. down, but the, here's the question today. And then obviously they still had one, because she put hers under the bed. Which she then took out, and she took all the the, the inside part out, and then she put... It, it in the brass. Dipped it in brass, so that it would... Because, like, and that was one thing I thought was cool, is like when they fired... The beams at the, at him, it, he could freeze them because proton particles didn't affect him. But then when they added brass into it, it actually affected him. And I thought that was pretty cool. The fire starter thing was a little silly. I didn't do the whole fire thing. Well, it was I said, a little well, silly. I said, well, she's again you know, when, when the Melody character was playing around with like, that one match, and it just seems she lit it and it. it I don't know if it appeared back or maybe she had two. It, it no, it was it was like a loop. Like she she would use it and it would just come back. But no, I, I, I once I seen that, I, I go, ah, she's gonna have somehow help him in the end. It, it, that was before we found out that she was actually trying to get. Oh yeah, his character was new in the movie too. I forgot about that. Yeah. But yeah, I, I kind of, I, I actually thought she would help them out, like, but then I didn't see the betrayal coming. I thought she'd get mind control. Is what was gonna happen, but then it was, oh, she was already working for him. Well, okay, gotcha, gotcha. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, ain't nothing else. So make sure to like and subscribe to the video and buy our merch. Smash that. I got the merch right here, guys. Two fat guys at the movies. Still should make the uh, two, two of the S color. It kind of blends into the. Uh, well, this there. is the old design. This is the old design. You can't get this one anymore. But the new one's more. The two, you can see it because it's white, actually white with black border. Uh, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy watching this one, you can watch this one right here on Slimer's head. And until next time, guys.